Well, I don't know about you, but I'm up and about. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Hello. Yeah. You know Good. What? Good I, stuff. Right. Dude. We're not in front of thousands of people this time at the Paddo, which no. was wild. That was We'll awesome. talk about that very soon. Tens of thousands. But on the way, Brilliant. tens of thousands. We're driving here after we did have a little little meal at the paddo just before yes. and I, I said to the others in the car i was like i just i'm not really feeling it right now i'm a bit flat right this wasn't but as soon as but that music kicked in mm. i'm here for the people let's fucking do it i'm here because let's you've got it, a is this, is this aragorn that is, is aragorn son, See, of have Ar you son of arathon uh <laughs> he is the rightful heir to the throne of gondor uh i can't even i don't know where he's at in terms of the line from Isildur, but he is Isildur's heir, and um, I did get this online from a website, and I've I'm on a ban currently from buying things because I bought. <laughs> Who's a few, banned you? I've banned myself. <laughs> uh, I've bought a few too many things online recently, but um, so we're talking about a t-shirt you're wearing right now. If you're not, yes, if you're not yeah, watching, you're listening. Yep, that uh, is Aragon from. He's Lord the best of the character Rings. in the movie, right? Well, yeah, wow. he's a pretty good character. I think he's meant to be the best character. Like Gandalf, he's pretty dope. I like Gimli personally. I'm a big Gimli I'm a, guy. I'm a big Legolas. Uh, yeah. Like but like also Gollum Frodo and Sam, Samwise Gamgee sort of saves the day without him. Nah, really I'm not, I'm not on the Hobbits, man. I oh, just, come on. Nah. They're fillers. The what? Hobbits are fillers. So oh, shit, the Hobbits I think the fillers, most mate. important Hobbits... part about this story is you've banned yourself from online purchases. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What have, you been, what have you been buying to force yourself? I bought in the space of like three days a brand new <laughs> set of bed sheets, which cost like they were bamboo bed sheets. That's very me. mature of you. They're so good. Who buys bed sheets? Someone once oh, said to me, if you get to buy something, like bed sheets are very good because mm. you're in them every day. So yeah. Tom Smirk, my um, house. Or my, is he funny? Shout he out was, Smirky. Is he funny? Shout out to Tom Smirk. He was my it's host family. Smirky. He's their oldest son, eldest son. And he has been in like bamboo silk sheets for about 10 years. Oh my God. And like told me all about it. And I was like, mate, piss off. Like, whatever you grew up in city beach you know must be nice <laughs> and um and i text him the first night i got in and i said mate i'm so i apologize i've uh, i'm in my brand new set of bamboo sheets it's living the life so i bought that what else what's did the I... thread count on those do you couldn't know? tell you mate with any certainty um right. i'd be lying to you if i said i could um i bought a, i bought them i bought myself two pairs of pants i'm wearing one and Very I've nice. got the black pair i bought this thing pants online is pretty rogue mate mm. well i mate they popped up and i thought not Fuck trying it. them on where yeah. are you getting these ads is it oh, instagram? instagram yeah they've got me hooked <laughs> they've got me hooked i bought this uh, little thing from salty dagger what bangle else did I, yep i bought that what else did i buy uh it'll come to me oh i bought a watch <laughs> did you <laughs> yeah i bought wow. a watch um yeah so there were about four rogue purchases um. there that just came out of nowhere <laughs> and i thought to myself "Fuck." I got a mortgage to pay, you, but don't be stupid. We were just talking earlier about you having month to month payments. Now that's yeah, a pretty, it's, a pain in it's the not ass, a common it? thing unless you work for like a big, maybe like a big mining company. Mm. Footy, you you would have got paid monthly when you're at West Coast. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the same place he works. Yeah, yeah no, I know. The players, work, yeah. I don't know if players and staff are all in the same sort of um, yeah, monthly, situation. Right? Monthly. That, yeah. I just, I don't know how you do that. Well, I mean, realistically it works out to be the same. I thought but it was it, normal. <laughs> no, fortnightly is very normal. Mm. A dad wouldn't know what no, you, you are. You, no, you no, you invoice whenever you need to and we'll pay it. I think that's right. generally no. Yeah, that's, that's not, that's that's not, not how it works. works. You, you heard do whatever it you want. from Indy. If um, you want to invoice every day, we'll do that. Yeah, know. so anyway, it's a pain in the ass, but it Because um, <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, I've told myself that I'm not buying another thing online. So I've okay. got a leg this exact same shirt. Well not the exact same shirt, the same company does one with Legolas on it, mm. your favourite character. And I'm, I've got that saved and ready to buy. Do you read the books? If you want to buy two if you want to buy two of them, I'll get you one. I will wear one. Awesome. Uh, okay, uh, I just I, that's I might one get of the... you a Gimli one, Dan. Uh, which one's Gimli? He's the sh he's the dwarf. None of those beats. Oh, and my axe. That yeah, guy? yeah, exactly. None of. The... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. My right? sword and my bow. And he said as well. And so, my axe. Uh, none of those things you've just gone through beat yep. something Dan Cons bought online this this week. It's an outrageous per. What per did I buy? It's an outrageous purchase. What do you mean? Just think about the things you've bought online this week. And I would say it's none other than this thing. You bought it either today or yesterday. Oh, yeah. It's I'm so excited about it. What'd you buy? I'm going to get like, in. I'm getting in shape because of fat chat. Obviously. Is this what, is this what you're talking about? Yeah. And on top of that, I thought I need every accessory to, to get in shape. Of course. So I bought one of those... Oh yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. One Hello. of these. Talk to me dirty. Oh yeah. I'm going to turn it on here so you might hear it. One of these oh, massage yeah. guns that you put on your legs and all your sore muscles and stuff. It's amazing. Mm. I, I've always wanted one. There is another use and, for it. Um, <laughs> and, and so Indy brought hers in for us to just give it a little try. Well, I hope you're not using and, it uh, as well. And <laughs> It's very good. And so I did buy one. 
Can I, I eyeball this? Thing? Have you? You can't well, no, harass I've definitely me. Definitely got You've one. You've used it for about I haven't used three the hours. Celsius gun. They're pretty good. Yeah, hold it on. Hold, yeah. Oh, you hold it. Hold down. it down. Hey, um, oh, yeah, it's go. a massage gun. It's a massage gun. It's bloody good. Hey, if you're uh -huh. um, watching on YouTube, you might see a little treat hanging out behind oh, yeah. uh, Scoey and, and Hammer. Oh. Um, that is a little bit of the Matildas game that hopefully we don't, <laughs> we don't get uh, pinged for copyright with. We may or but, may not have broadcast rights to that. So but it may or may not be on either. I don't, I don't know. I can't see this it. This is a replay it's of the time TV. they played Denmark. This yep. is a TV <laughs> floating around in the background. Yeah, that's right. So oh. the Matildas are one nil up. Yes. Just after half time, Turn it off, we're watching oh, it. Fuck, that's good. Uh, Sorry. It's, Sorry. it's good. I'm I'm up and about about the Matildas. Just hold it down. Just hold it down. That's it, mate. Um, have you been watching the soccer? Been no, mate, up? I haven't been. Really? I haven't been. Uh, well, I've been watching Australia, and that's it. Yeah, soccer is okay. my least favorite sport, almost on the planet. And with the exception of uh, patriotism, I would never watch a game. Okay. Well, so, apologies for having it on behind. No, you, no, mate. mate well, as I said, with the exception you of patriotism, around, you need to get around the country. That's what he just patriotism said. That. He means, literally mate. just so said. So think it. about the country that you that you live in. Well, I'm right. not sure if you're listening, Dan. He <laughs> said he literally is only watching yeah, Australia. Only games. watching the Tillys. Couldn't be getting more around Australia yeah. every time. He so, hates soccer. Yeah, but he's I hate still soccer with a passion. I assume you didn't watch the USA game and how they how they got eliminated. As I said, mate. No, I didn't. <laughs> Break it down for us, Hammer. Well, as I said, Dan, <laughs> unless Australia are playing an international soccer yeah. game, I will not watch a game right. of soccer. Okay. So, so what I happened? didn't see that. Um, but this is sort of Australian because it's like it's seeing the other countries that are. Above can we us. see it? Do you have it, Nick? Sort of fail. Do you have it? Um, just this one image, sort of. Can we see it, please? Yeah, chuck this image up. That's this one image decided who won the USA v Sweden. Was it Sweden? Wow. Oh, is that like hot spot. Sweden game? That's VAR. So it went to penalty shootout. Right, as a lot of the games final do. penalty of the game, mm -hmm. the USA player smacked it into the middle. The, the The goalkeeper saved it. It bounced sort of back a little bit, and she thought that she covered it before it went over the line. They went to VAR, and this image showed how close it went to falling one, over the one line. Millimeter. One so millimeter. One This pixel. side, no, so the south the of line. that goal line is it went through the goals. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, it went through the goals. It went over the line by one millimeter. Mm. So hang on a minute. If I'm looking at that, is that the nets on the far side? Okay, well that just looks in. It's a goal. It certainly has to be a goal. Like that's in. But yeah. but do you understand if it's one millimeter back this way, it's not a goal. So if it's a millimeter on the line, it's not a goal. That's yeah. correct. It has to go all the way over. What about the halfway rule? Hang on, hang on. What what sport would it be a goal? It's over the half the balls NBA, over the NBA if their foot's on the line, cricket. it's out of bounds. Cricket, what? Cricket if half the ball's touching the bow, you're out. Yeah, but that's if you give been given out. No, it's even if it's Umpire's not if decision. it's not out, Umpire's half decision. the ball needs to be on. Yes. Right in LBW and in LBW. Right. So yeah. there you go, Will. Apologize. But Apologize. What, about, what about front Thank foot? You. Front foot no ball. I mean if the your, AFL. If your foot is over like a mil, then yeah. it's no ball. I mean the AFL. Yeah, well, I get that. The AFL, yeah, yes. Yeah, Literally every other sport under the shit of sport ever, cricket. Thank God the ash is over. Oh, piss off. Man. I was, no, uh, was, the bison just got named the T20 skipper. Well, let's talk about yeah, that. Yeah, let's actually. talk about that. Well, hang on a minute. We not, we not, anyway, no, I that's, like it, that's it. So England, that's uh, sorry, a US in or They're out? They're out. They've been eliminated by a millimeter. Couldn't tell you a single player. Hate them. <laughs> <laughs> but we do love the bison. That's we do sure. love the bison. The we bison, do love the the as well. bison, bison is the new T20 captain and good God, that's fucking amazing. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it ever? Like, that is good shit. What do you think is going to happen well, we're gonna um, win, obviously. when yeah, Mitch Marsh opens the batting and as, the cap <laughs> as captain <laughs> and keeps the boss? It just go. I can't actually wait to watch that. That'll be so good. But I'm similar to Hammer in soccer realms For with cricket. cricket. Yeah. I'm not I'm not settling down to watch the Sheffield Shield. And yes, I know it's not the Sheffield Shield. The Mercantile Mutual Cup. And no, it's not called <laughs> that. It's called. I'm, not, I'm not sitting there to watch the domestic cricket. I mean, no one is. No, I'm not. Right? But you're not going to go. I'm watching highlights. I get them on the Cricket State Australia. State cricket. Mm, no, I'm right. not. I mean, England v in, India. In I India. will say, though, you could tempt me with a couple of Scorchers games. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Could absolutely tempt the shit Love out of me. Love Scorchers. Mm. Mitch Marsh again. Hashtag get scorched. <laughs> Yeah, get scorched. Uh, hashtag the furnace. Hashtag the furnace. Hashtag get scorched. Jesus, I got absolutely hammered that game. Anyway, <laughs> we digress. We digress. But I did mention earlier about the live show, and I sort of want to come back to that a mm. little bit because it was bloody good. Shout out to the Paddo for oh, putting shit. on a very good night. Paddo. And shout out to the Matildas as well for giving us something to cheer about yeah, a little absolutely. bit earlier. So there was a bit of buzz around. Um, I had a lot of fun at the Paddo. The back chat ale uh, was absolutely flowing. 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 From the kegs. I think they went through 17 kegs that night, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, give or take a few. It was beautiful. Everyone that was there made comment about about five things. How good we are. 
how good yep. the beer was, how good the paddo was, how good the Matildas are. One more thing. Give us how one good more. the cricket was because the cricket was straight after. That's right. Yep. It was bloody good. Lots of people came down there. If you missed out, we will be doing it again on the First, uh, the 28th, 28th of August. Last Monday of August. Last Monday of August. Mm. We do have another little live thing happening oh. on the 28th. Fourth, but I cannot tell you what it is we right can't at yet. this moment. Okay. Can't confirm, but well, it's confirmed. Um, yeah, I, I can, I can tell. Do I need I can, to know about it? I can tell you right now. The patrons yeah, we'll will find out today. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Next week, everyone will find out. I'll give you some hints and clues. With one of our sponsors, yeah, right? Shelter, Whipper Snapper, Margaret River Roasting, uh, Leadable Cameras. <laughs> Swimply. Is it the fight? Fleet Network. No, One no. of those sponsors are putting on a night with a very special guest, special live guest interview. Okay. In probably, I reckon, my top three guests that I want on this podcast happening mm-hmm. on the 24th of August live. There's 100 tickets only. <whistles> Pre sale is going on at some point in the next three days, and then it'll be open slather. Yep. A pre sale for patrons, right? Pre-sale for patrons. Yep. Won't make it to open slather. I don't know if it will, mate. Probably top not. Three, top three guests I've won on this podcast. Who do you think it could be, Hammer? Uh, Danny Green comes to mind. He would be a phenomenal guest. He would be. Yeah, he would be. Uh, who else would be an exceptional guest to have on this podcast? Hmm. I'll let you ponder that. Yeah, yeah. ponder have that. A Danny Graham that. would be my one off the top. Well, okay, I think well, that's a good one. We'll try, awesome. we'll try for And if that. it's not him, could I be, think you've probably... Danny Green. Who knows? Uh, mm. One other thing that happened at the Pado was you guys made a bet. Oh yeah, this was a very, very uh, high stakes bet, my yeah, dad. Well, for one of you, I would say. Can we pro- remind everyone what that bet was? Yeah, Nick's got, Nick's got a little video for us. Um, let's yeah. let's play this back. Green wins the Brownlow. You serve beers at the Paddo naked. <laughs> and if Nick Dacos wins the Brownlow, you deliver to my doorstep a slab of fat chat ales completely naked. <laughs> Deal done. <laughs> Best bet ever. Best bet ever. If Toby Green wins the Brownlow. Okay. You s- Right. Okay, so Toby Green Toby wins the Green Brownlow. To win the Brownlow. Hammer serves beers naked at the Paddo. Yeah. I feel like we're one step closer to that right now, sitting well, here right now. And yeah. just to confirm, Nick Dacos wins the Brownlow. Scully has to deliver a slab of back chat ales to my doorstep naked. And keep in mind, we have a camera out the front. I'll tell you what, that's not a part of ring. the deal. Ring. You got a it's ring? It's just already there, mate. Go oh, okay. Um, that's fine. So I think what this is set up for is the best... Uh, the last four weeks of the brown low we are ever going to see. Absolutely, yeah. Nick Dacos going to be leading with four weeks to go. Well, the he, thing is, he wouldn't have. He'll be. He wouldn't have polled in the last four weeks. Oh, the last four coming. I don't think he would have. Po- he, he will have eight rounds where I don't think he polls. Right. But he'll be like twelve votes ahead. Right. When he stops polling, he'll right. be. He'll be. And the on bond, about. I reckon he'll be on like 34, the 35 bond votes. And Toby Green will be steaming home. Yeah, absolutely. I got so caught up in Petrarca. the live event, and I didn't. Mentioned Bont, but I've been on Bont for a long time. Yeah, Bont's massive. But it's easy to say you've I been wouldn't... on Bont for a long time after he had 32 and 3, and now he's the favourite. But Well, I've got a bet sitting in my betting account that says I've been on him since he was $33 to win okay, the Okay, well, man, it's so easy said than when you're not getting your phone out. But I'll just, <laughs> so, I guess we'll all believe Scully, who, so was, just, on, who was having a go at me for the unbackable favourite. Now he's all on the Bont. For anyone that's sort of. <laughs> well, been, is he going to win? Well, maybe. Dacos? I think he probably holds I on. I don't think he does. I think the he could other three, The other three are going to have to go nuts because he'll be leading at this point. That's fine. So anyone that's well far yeah, behind in great. AFL news or just hasn't heard anything, Nick Dacos won't Heard play himself. for the rest of the season, fracturing his knee. Mm. So, you know, if they make it, would he? He'll play the grand final weeks. if he makes it. They'll that, jab the shit out of it and he'll play. Yeah, okay. So he's not right. playing, obviously, at the end. Six weeks gets him to the prelim. Right. Because mm. the pre-finals by. There's three rounds left. Pre-finals by. Quarters. Elimination. Quarters, sorry, quarters, semi, and then prelim. So he'd play prelim week. He'd be back. Would you? Um, would you bring in Nick Dacos at that point? Yeah, you'd have to, right? And I can imagine he'd be pretty diligent with his rehab, given the fact that he's a chance to play in a grand final. I would say he'll be back for a prelim. I wouldn't be surprised week. if Josh Dacos misses the next six weeks as well. The amount those two <laughs> seriously might as well be Siamese twins. <laughs> What what is that? Why do they always do everything? I don't know. Together? I've been money, over mate. this. I was over this money. in the live show. I've been over on the footy <laughs> cast. Money. I, I I I do think they're getting paid into the same bank account after having signed on for another fourteen years each. <laughs> We've never seen a brother uh, being elevated as much as Josh Dacos has been elevated than Nick Dacos. Love them both. God yeah yeah. But Josh Dacos had a very good year. Nathan Ablett. 
Yeah, that's probably... <laughs> he got a pretty good run, didn't he? <laughs> he pretty... got taken by the Gold Coast for a bit there. <laughs> Did and he? I, yeah, he was playing... No, With he was his number, brother. He was number 50 for the Gold Coast Suns, I reckon, Nathan Ablett. Was I he, had his jumper. Was he there before Gary? Huh? Was it... Nathan Ablett. Yeah, Nathan won. Yeah, not yeah. with the Gold Coast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but Nathan went up with Gary. Before Gary or with Gary? With Gary. Oh, well done, Nathan. Oh, I'm pretty sure Nathan went up there with Gary. <laughs> It'd be a pretty easy sell if you're Gary. You get oh, your yeah. Brother. Hey, mate, just come on. Bring my brother up here. Have you seen that video? It's an audition. <laughs> an audition on Britain's Got Talent or yes. something where the guy brings Some his are. brother in there. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty funny. That's one of the all-time great auditions of all time of these shows. If you can uh, potentially find that Nick while we're padding a little bit, I would it, love to watch that. It is pretty you know funny. It's like oh, this guy who's, it's a guy who's a reasonably good singer and he's got his brother in there. Just don't <laughs> add um, All right, let's give an update of Fat Chat that's happened. So we're we're a week into Fat Chat. We're I've gotten all, fatter. You've gotten fatter? <laughs> yep. Have you? Yeah. So you, we, you weighed in. Got bigger. In. Weighed in this morning. Got okay. bigger. You got bigger. How yep. many? Uh, well, I had a pretty big night. So there's. I'll explain my weekend. Sure. Sunday night. I was reasonably tame Saturday. Sunday night, I had dinner. I had watched, went to the footy, came home and had dinner with a couple of mates. And we thought, what do we want? We want sushi. There's a sushi train in just around the corner from Vic Park. Yeah. Rivervale. So the Sushi 2016. The greatest place ever. My favorite of all Shout time. Shout out. Shout out the Sushi 2016. Um, and it was like Sorry, they have you. these little plates coming around on a train. I yeah, love it. And I had 12. They had the plates coming around the train. Yeah. So it's I had a, 12 sushi plates of sushi. <laughs> and Thank it you. was, um, Thank you for that. yeah, I just got. Was that your first experience? Nah, God, Because no. I saw this on, on socials. You've absolutely gone like, to town. Like a yeah, child. I'd gone to town. And then we were going to go to Yochi and the line was out the door. So we decided to go to Hungry Jack's and get an Oreo storm. Um, <laughs> so I had a big night. Yeah. And I had a few beers as well. Would have had like seven or eight beers. And, yeah. um, yeah. Do they get delivered on the train too, the beers? No, they don't. So you can okay. order things on the plate, uh, on the machine. Like yes. they have a little, uh, machine. And do the and robots like deliver it? No, nah, the robots don't oh. deliver it. They have actual Shame. human beings. So this That's is a fat true. chat challenge we're doing for 12 weeks. Yep. We're one week in. Dan and I went down to um, a training session, which is going to yeah. be every Saturday morning. Yeah. You're probably you're not going to make I'm many not of these. I'm not going to make many of them. Until the season finishes. But we went down. I went down there with the fam, a wife and two kids. Dan came down. Big drive for you. So mm. very well done. Yeah. But there was about 20 people. Yeah, it was awesome. It was very good. So if you want to get involved in that, you are involved in Fat Chat. You know what? I dare say it. You want to come down for a workout? You're not doing Fat Chat? Just come down. I'm I think Jared said that. He was happy Jared for the that. Saturday come and things down. to be open. Yeah, it was absolutely. good. I've never really done anything like that before. No. Nah. Like like and a, there was a lot of camaraderie, a lot of getting yeah, around one another. A lot of high, high fives. Five. How did you go? How did you go? So I was I struggled. No. Well, yeah, like I struggled because I I'm severely unfit. I haven't done any real like I haven't. I just thought it was very positive that you were there. And you, you, that's yeah, you yeah that was big for me. So I've done like don't, don't be negative. No, 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 I've played like sports and stuff with people and had like you know casual sport fun, but not actual like okay, run, stop, Do sit some up, star jumps, you know that stuff. I have done that. I haven't done that for a very long time, and I got in about so it's about an hour class, I reckon about an hour fifty minutes ish. So. Indy's about to it's okay. Oh, that's okay. Um, and I reckon about half an hour, I was like, yeah, starting in a struggle. I went hard early because he was like, beginners go here, intermediates go here, advanced go there. And Where I was did like, you go? well, I'm not going to half ass. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go advanced. Like, I'm going to run the furthest. I'm going to do the, the most. It says the bike hasn't worked out ever. Yeah. So I, I went hard. I and like then it. about 35, 40 minutes in, I started to feel a bit dizzy. Mm. Uh, oh, a bit yeah. lightheaded, and of course, I that happens. And I got that like um, s s acidic feeling in the back of your tongue. Oh yeah, I know the one. And I realized I was going to spew. That's indicative of a vomit. Yes, and so I excused myself. Uh, I went around to this little corner where I couldn't be seen by anyone, and they Could started the next sane. exercise. Cowardly. Could not be seen. Yeah, very now, cowardly. I'm going to pause you right there because. Luckily, as back chat knows, we just always have someone on the scene. And luckily enough, we had <laughs> someone on the scene of the crime to capture Dan's finest moment. I like it. <laughs> Who is that? Was it pausey? Who is that? Why is it so pausey? That is my five year old son, Nash, who was Video playing with the phone behind the tree, captured Dan, throwing up behind the. Vomit on yourself, Dan. Post. I was hoping you were going to be a little bit more truthful to our listeners. It was it was no more. The, the entire session went for 50 minutes. So yeah. to say that Dan was at 45 minutes in. Yeah, it was probably you 30 out. then. Daniel. Oh, I, I was 30 Dan. in. I missed one exercise. I went for about seven minutes. How so let's call, let's call it time I was having you, a spew. You were out. Let's, call it, let's say 15 to 20 in, you went for a spew. 
That's, that's correct. conservative. That's correct. Um, and then you finished off. So, like, that's he came good back. Effort. What, what I say is res- positive. That's respect. He came back after the spew. That is very difficult to do. Yeah. So I would next time. I'd love it if you just vomited on yourself. <laughs> like that'd be huge. <laughs> Running, just yeah, spewing. Mate, Charlie hand. Constable, Chook, doing the hundred hundreds about six years ago, vomited on himself at about sixty five, and then just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was ne- unbelievable. Next, I plan on not having that feeling again because I'm trying to get it in a little mm. bit. I'm trying to get in shape enough to yeah, do the I exercises. Like it. So what was, what was the weight? Like what were you? Yeah. Uh, I still sitting at seventy five. Yeah. Haven't haven't budged. I went up to no, sorry, I went up to seventy six. Went back to seventy five. I, I don't know. I haven't really done much. I was one hundred and three and a half this morning um, off the back of an, an almighty night last night. So that's that will come and go. But I've I've had a chat with Jared today. Good. So we had a good old um, text message conversation and have outlined my plan. Um, I'm obviously – you guys aren't playing football. I'm at the back end of a football season, hopefully going to play finals. Yeah, you're, you're, you're sizzling set to yeah. make a big run in finals. Yeah, and you, you, yeah. you get to run 20 Ks a weekend. Yeah, that's the plan. Footy training. <laughs> that's the plan. So I had a chat Your hand is holded. I ha- held, I think would be the <laughs> word. I think it's holded. I, holded. Holded, yeah. <laughs> My hand is holded. I had a chat with Jerry, <laughs> and um, we have outlined the plan. So Monday through Thursday – we're cutting my calories right back, which is going to hurt me. Getting stripped. I'm going deficit. I'll be at about 2,000 calories, which is going to really sting. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, pre-game, game day and the day after, do, just do what you like. The big one for me is going to be I've committed to myself, to the East Perth Football Club and to Fat Chat that I will not touch a drop of alcohol until my football season is finished. Wow. So I am not going to drink a beer or any other alcohol until my footy season's finished. So grand final eve, you're getting oh, absolutely yeah. sourced. Yeah, I'm going to get buckled that night. But um, until then, I'm going to be – I'm Alan Moffat. Uh, and then <laughs> the other one will be after my gym sessions, do a little like 10-minute cardio hit thing. Great. So that's my plan. What's your – do you have something to exchange the alcohol with? Like a little, I don't know, sparkling – with lime or something, That's or good, just are you just having water? Or I, I will just be a, a drinking water at this point. If, really? If, if Shelter release a Coke Zero flavored beverage, I'll probably drink that, <laughs> <laughs> or I will probably just drink a bucket load of them. I am. I was one hundred eight point five when I started this. I am one hundred six point one today. I'm not sure that, how that's happened. Must be I, man. I had a shocking week last week. That's enormous. Like shocking. We had the live show. Mm. Uh, I went to the rugby on the weekend. I had copious amounts of alcohol. I I did exercise You've quite a bit. You've been putting in hard work. I did. Mate. I did the I've Saturday. I did the PT. I did another run. I've I've worked. You've oh, been hard work. Footy training with Aquinas. So I've been. You've been training. doing stuff. Alex has been with you. Alex has been doing very well. My wife, she's going to do way better than I am. But I'm trying to lose weight. So I'm I've ticked one box for one week. But I had a yep. shocking week. Much improved this week. I've got food counters. I'm I'm tracking my alcohol. I'm trying to cut down alcohol as well. Yeah. I'm I'm in about. I'm about 10 to 15 beers a week, which is a lot, but I'm talking like pints. Yeah. that's. I'm trying to cut that in half. That's probably like eight liters of alcohol. It's a lot of fluid and money. And yeah. I need to ban myself from that. So I'm, I'm stripping that right back. So are you going completely great. off it or are you just going? Nah, nah. I don't think that's realistic, well, unfortunately. It's probably not worth it either. Is it? <laughs> well, it is for you. It I think it's great yeah, timing. It's great. Perfect timing for me. Really dial in, get focused. Dan, you got any little things you're doing? Uh, I'm like, trying not to drink uh, like nice beers. So <laughs> sorry. So like Shelter is all the nice beers, but they're not great on the calorie intake. This is intake. good fat chat areas. So yeah. this is real good fat chat areas. I bought, nice areas. Ones. I bought a carton of really bad beers yeah. that are just low in calories. That I thought if I'm going to have anything at home, like if I really yeah. feel like a beer. I can crack one of those smart. and I don't yeah, feel the same satisf- satisfaction from it, but at least it's just something to get me through over the next 12 weeks or so. Mm. Um, I'll probably just but, whiskey. Yeah, that's that's a good shout. Whipsnapper do a fine selection of whiskeys. I'm looking at this coffee whiskey. I was going to pull myself one before this morning. <laughs> before the um, before the show and I didn't. I'm How many calories it. would be in a whiskey, you reckon? I think it's 60 or 70 or something. Per I shot? Yeah, Anything, per uh, shot. Have we got a microphone over there? What's happening um, in the back? Do you know what's happening in the uh, soccer over there? Just allegedly. Indy, Indy, come on, mate. This is allegedly. This is, uh, by the way, um, I we, we speak to Indy a little bit, but she is, um, I think she might be a coach and player of the Matildas. She's very defensive over the Matildas. Yeah, it's a I'm not. It's just every time they play, you're like, the other team's going to win. And what's the score? What's happening up there? Oh, it's 1 0 to the Tillies. Great. Yeah. And they just had about like six. Love the Tillies so much. Very Why are you <laughs> We we went to um we went to a rugby event on the weekend, Scoey. 
Uh, yes. I haven't watched rugby in real life uh, ever. It was the first time. Uh, you, we, we had a couple of tickets through um, Bluebet. Shout out to Bluebet. They, mm. it's, they were the major sponsor of the Dolphins who came to town. Oh, the Dollies, Fins mate. up. Fins, fins up. up. Fins up. Fins up for the Dolphins. Uh, it was a double header at Optus. It was fins a up. double header. Fins up in Australia's team, the Cronulla Sharks. Down left. Where I ended up was at an event which I should not have been at. Mm. Um, I just got hooked up through uh, SCOE. So thanks, thanks, mate. Thanks for bringing me into... The no bougiest section of yeah, correct. the Optus of Optus Stadium. So we walk Dan walks in. Before we go there, texts me and says, I um short like shorts okay, pretty casual. I'm like I'm like, yeah, mate, yeah, go yeah, for it. Sweet. I hadn't really realized where we're going. I just thought we had tickets. I had a look about an hour before we had to be there, and it's like it says business casual. Yeah, no, that's not shorts. I'm not mate. sure what that is. Unless you're wearing fucking stage. Louis Vuitton or Gucci shorts. I would, say, I would say depends what business you're doing though, Hamish, because some businessmen True. All women wear shorts, right? So anyway, business <laughs> casual. Dan comes in. He's a little bit late. He walks in, and uh, it's a room where Roger Cooks is having a chat, the Premier of the State. <laughs> cookie, the Cookie Monster, so I think Dan, they call come, him. Come up the back here, mate. Come up the back. We'll see where you're sitting. Anyway, I found where Dan was sitting. I think we've got a bit of vision of it. Can we have a little look? Is he still? I hope he's wearing shorts. Is that fine? Have I led you in enough? <laughs> Set, tables. Set tables. Okay. So it's a real. This is fancy. Yeah. This wow. is not short series. Let's go, Phil. Someone took the time to handwrite that. That takes more effort than print, copy, and pasting. Someone can we get some? Can, can I eyeball the Phil. shorts, please? God, I hope there's some footage of the shorts. Nah, it's no not shorts. in shorts. I wore, I wore, I wore pants. I wore. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Up. I wore a button. I was fine. I was dressed as well as anyone else right. there. Ha- not ha- as well. Hamish spoke over the kicker there, but that's okay. Um, now. Uh, as Roger's speaking, I took some more footage. <laughs> Can we have a look? I've got 45,000 people out there screaming. It's a little bit over, but that's okay. 2,000 came from the coast. A little was, bit it was, over. It was a little bit over. It I mean, was the nicest trying... place. We didn't know what we were yeah, doing in it was there. All, it had a, we had a very good time, but um, they did have nice beers on tap there. I like that. And I did have a few because I worked out that morning um, and I felt okay yeah, about myself. Earn them. Earn them to earn them. But um, is that a, that's a thing, right? You, yeah, you, you have to earn in, a few. No question. What's about the one? Go to sleep. Go to sleep hungry. Wake up skinny. Go to ha- yeah. Go to bed hungry. Wake up skinny is my favourite saying at the right. moment. If you can skip dinner, sometimes going to sleep is a meal in itself. Skip of dinner. Wake up thinner. Yeah, skip <laughs> oh, dinner. Oh, that's hell. good. Oh. Well done. Can I have one oh, of those? Skip dinner. Wake yeah. up thinner. <laughs> The three of us together. Yeah, we love it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Promoting a- healthy eating habits for all our listeners. <laughs> what, also, <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. what also happened at the NRL? You you showed me your phone and you mm. said, I've done it. What are, I actually don't know what we're talking <laughs> I've about. I've broken the code. <laughs> and I look that? over and I'm just seeing footy scores, Hawthorne beating Collingwood. I said, what are you talking about? He goes, I tipped. Yeah, I tipped Hawthorne. I did. Did you put your money where your mouth is and put some financial wages on that? I don't think I did, but I tipped him oh. everywhere. I tipped him across the board. Why did you, you tip, bet on him? You I tipped Hawks. How much were they out of paying? the blue? No, I tipped him out of the blue because I watched uh, Sam Mitchell rev him up the week before. I saw him sizzling and I knew he'd have a, I knew he'd have a plan. Allegedly, there's a goal in the soccer. I'm not saying this. That's for copyright. No, I've I'm never seen anyone love a team more than Indy loves the Matildas. <laughs> Go turn your microphone on. We want an update. Yeah, who kicked it? How did it happen? Tell us. Allegedly. Indy. Sorry. I'm just Indy's crying. I Indy's actually get, crying. I get too excited because I've called so many goals, not goals this year. Tell us what happened. Right, Indiana is actually physically crying. Tell us what happened. For anyone who can't see. There's not a camera on her. Her tears what happened. are streaming down her face. You're on the podcast. Cross into the centre, number 16. I actually don't know her name, but she scored her first goal in the, one of the first World Cup hey, games. Russell. Hey there, Russell. There you go. There you go. She scored two last week. Two sausages. Yeah. Have they re- is it a goal yet? Is it confirmed? It's confirmed. Oh, my God. Indy, stop crying. There we this go. It's getting ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so you can watch the, watch the replay right now. Well, you can see the bottom half of it. Yeah, it's which is, you, can't, you can't watch the replay. You watch Fix the you's just coming in very slowly. Damo, could you get Coldplay playing just for – no, none of that. Um, Into the centre. Yeah. She's got time. Yeah. She, she does have off. time and space. Plays it off though. Bounce awkwardly. It hasn't because it's a soccer, so we it's can't a soccer say ball. So top half of the screen. Oh, I just goal. see it in the back of the net. Then oh, yeah, this. very good. Great goal. Swift well done. Naughty fucking strike. Two that was. Hang on, no. Everyone stop. Everyone stop. All right. Indy, you love the Matildas. Why have you dialed it back? Why? Why are you talking like that? Saucy. Give us fucking something. That's what I wanted. Tell look us that. what we. What the fuck fucking happened? Bang. Sorry. Oh, and look at no, those. Stop. Sorry. What up? 
Some what people. What do you want me to say? Give us something. She, you she just can't like stop crying. You're in Give us something. She can't stop crying. <laughs> Some people internalize their joy. Oh, I think that's God. Right Seriously, that was your moment. <laughs> You, you don't get it back again. That uh, unfortunately, I can't say much shit going on. I'm saying some foot, uh, some boots, some socks. Stefan, Stefan, but all D. of a sudden it's two nil. Stefan D though is up what and about. Want? I wanted more than that, India. I'm sorry, I didn't give it to you. you that's right. Next time, next time, that's that's your warning for the next. If goal they score again, I want to fucking I break want a pie down. By pie. Yeah, like we're gonna win this. Like mm. uh, s- mm. like a, I want a Spanish call in Spanish. Stefan D got eight tips this week, 21 point margin. I think, did he tip maybe Collingwood? That maybe, I don't know. We're talking tipping. We're talking tipping. Yeah, we are AFL. Talking we're, we're back to AFL. AFL. Stefan D gets a $250 voucher thanks to, to the, the Camfield. Camfield. 21, he got a 21 margin, eight tips. Mm. Very good. I got seven this week. Well wow. Did seven. You really? So I've snatched back the lead from <laughs> the from loss the, from the, jaws the depths of, of hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from the fucking gates of Mordor. Yeah, that's nice. So you got the five, black gate. I got seven. I'm back up one tip. Uh, just one tip ahead. I missed Friday night footy. I think I got six. Did you not? And I forgot to put Friday night footy tips in. <sighs> Shame. It hurts you. Because I work, work Friday night. And it's a stupid show. It's a great show. Everyone listen. It's <laughs> um, somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. But I have to like... Mm. I have to prepare for that and then I get caught up with it. And I, I usually finish the prep like five minutes before the game. Mm, and I, either, I go two ways. I either do my tipping or I do my bets. And this right. way I did my bets. Okay. I lost you your bets, bets but you didn't bet on the Hawks. Can we just talk about our tipping competition? I mean, yeah. tipping is the most boring thing to talk about at length. Yeah, when... we're not going to go break through yeah. game by game. But, but there are three people well and truly in the running to win the Can you remember what we put on the line here, Hammer? Uh, it was just shy of ten thousand, I think. Yeah, it? that's correct. <laughs> yeah, it was just it was shy nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Drive away, no more to pay. Two thousand dollars yep. to the winner. Cash. I reckon there's three people that can win it. There's right three now. people. So there's there's Wax Wildcats, Matt Cutback, who's an OG bat chat guy, Matty Cutback, and uh, Calavit. I think the name is um, separated by four tips from top to bottom. There, it's getting very close. It's heating up. But uh, what's the leader on? How much is he? 132 on? tips. Yep. Who's 32. that? Is that 32? And uh, Calibit, 128. Uh, that's oh. Wax. Wax Wildcats is on 132 on right. leading the charge. So that's four can up. You just, can you just give me the three, please? 132, Wax Wildcats. Yes. Matt Cutback, 128. 130. Oh, 130, okay. Calibit, 128. So right. it's two points, the difference. Oh, so it is yeah. really anyone's game. Three so rounds to go. Does, does Wax Wildcats just have to keep going favourites? Like, you know, how, what do you do at that point? Because you've got to retain your lead. Obviously, cut just back has to go some low heart, ones. You've got to tip with your heart, unfortunately. Stay with the way you've been tipping. Don't don't go out on a women change. If it ain't broke. I think with two weeks ago, yeah. we're going to speak to these three um, on on uh, on the pod. I'm what's the next? Live. So what's fourth? Uh, I only have the top three. I apologize. Makes sense. Uh, Hamish, for next week, I'll make sure that you've nah, got the fourth that, person that, there. What if the fourth is also on 128? You, you must have tipped West Coast this week. I did, mate. Yeah, yeah. just a bit and disappointing. And you were very close to getting close. that right. Yeah, I was really close. Um, it was upsetting to see them go down, but uh, you get that. I also got back on the Fremantle tipping bandwagon, which I should have stayed off. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I decided to not tip them for the first time last week, and they won, and I got back on them, and they lost. Cal and, Levitt, uh, right. I, th- I couldn't understand yeah. what you're saying. His name's Cal, K-A-L. Oh, Cal. Right. Cal. Cal Levitt. Cal Levitt. Levitt. Cal Levitt. Uh, Ethan Croft is on 127. He's one behind. So and also is Trevor Smith. He's on 127 too. So they're okay. probably both in with a sniff as well. Yeah. yeah okay. But a really, that's a long odd. Yeah, yeah that is. And then the team named Dixon Butts. <laughs> Josh Marshall is six. I had to give that one. Yeah, very Dix. good. Um, as a West Coast fan, it's just not ever not going to be funny, isn't it? <laughs> Dixon Butts. Uh, as a West Coast fan, seeing West Coast lose by a point uh, a, uh, against Essendon on the weekend, yep. I could not have been happier. <laughs> it was the best result of yep. the year by far. And I remember because I didn't actually watch all of the game, which is poor by me. But I was what getting ready doing? for a big bougie event. Uh, I was oh, getting my shirt. I thought shirt it was going to be one of those iron. afternoons where you just took three hours to yourself, <laughs> and then all of a sudden there we are. I watched the last few minutes on the train, and I my heart sank thinking we've just um, we've just given away Harley Reid to a victory over Essendon that's completely meaningless. There was nothing other anything at all that was going to happen than West Coast losing the number one pick if you won that. Absolutely. There, there was, it would have meant nothing to anyone, not the fans, not the players. 
it, they, they would have learned as much as they did if they lost, except That's they right. would have lost the number one draft pick, meaning that the season that they've had, which is the worst on record by like everyone, and they still wouldn't have finished on bottom of the ladder. <laughs> couldn't even do that, right? right seriously. <laughs> so I hope you don't win the Derby next week, Dan. Is there is there merit in, in Fremantle going, F you, West Coast Eagles, we're going to lose this game so that you lose the number one pick? No. Why not? That's a, it's, it's a tactical decision. Against winning, winning that game means a nothing to decision, Fremantle. So a tactical decision that does what for them? Nothing. Cause win or no, lose no, no. means nothing. No, no. But tactical for the Dockers. Yeah. Well, so it, losing does what for them? Losing means that West Coast... For, no, no. For Fremantle. You're about to say West Coast loses. I understand. No, no. What does it do for Freo? Fremantle losing, right, means West Coast win. I know. Which means... That's what West Coast gets. What does Fremantle get for losing? They get West Coast not getting right, the number one pick. I'm trying pick. to get you to say. Well, you kept interrupting every time I was trying to explain that. West Coast won't get the number one pick, but Fremantle don't get any benefit from winning this game. So yes. they may as well lose this game deliberately. Well, right? Why? I just said, so the West Coast don't get the number one so pick. So do you think, that's what I'm trying to ask you, do you think Fremantle want that? <laughs> yep, they absolutely. Want, they want West Coast not to have a number one yeah, pick. Yeah, absolutely. I think if Fremantle lose this game on the weekend, the entire club will be battered from pillar to post. Oh, I think they'll put, they'll start sacking people if they mate, lose to West Coast, mate. Yeah, this next three weeks are so important for them. Like, imagine how angry or like they were meant to finish top four. Imagine the members <laughs> calling up the Freo in the morning being if like, Freo, fuck you guys, tearing shit up. People will be burning memberships. Oh, no, nah, I, I I reckon- West Coast will win, obviously, and I will tip them. But if you put a poll out, right, and said as to all the Freo fans, do you want West Coast to win this and lose the number one pick? They would be like, hell yeah, or screw lose the, the West Coast Eagles. Yeah. Or lose to yeah. West Coast. Lose to West Coast and screw them over. I think you're bringing the game into disrepute, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, what I, I think. I'm mate. not in charge of the game. Yeah, I just think there's no such thing and as tanking. This is why. Do you know what almost did throw the game into disrepute? Well, actually, it sort of did throw the game into disrepute. This, Nick, can you get this video up of, of the umpire giving the worst ball up in history? Hang on. We'll go Do back. It again, please. There Thank we go. You. Put it up properly. Thank you. All right, let's start. Let's start that video from the top there. This is uh, Essen West Coast. Here we go. Okay. Oh, is it a bounce or a throw up? That he was a that. throw. Can we have one more look? Oh my let, let video, goodness! Let the video play out, Nick. Let's hey. see what happens straight after it. He's One that over to go. Bailey and West Coast are up by at this point oh, with like a minute to go. Oh my good golly gosh. Gov falls over. Hobbsy gives it over. Big boy Langford in the square. <laughs> Harley Reid. That Essendon. goal there, that goal there may have set the West Coast Eagles up for the next 10 years. Yeah, but, all because of that throw. So you've got him to thank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Um, Absolutely. Oh, it's a shock and throw. That was, that w do you think that they could recall throws? Because they recall the bounce and then they throw it, right? Nah. That's the whole reason. They meant it just be a throw a ball up in the air. <laughs> the ball <laughs> like, should just seriously. go straight up, shouldn't it? I would have thought. Anyway. Anyway, um, what about Fremantle? So they lost to Brisbane a few points. Yeah, um, that was a very close game. I was very there. Close it was actually game. a barnstorming match of football. We, I didn't actually watch it. Can you, what happened? Have well, it was bloody, it, it started very low scoring and quite a bit boring. Um, that rhymed unintentionally. We need to put some t-shirts out of this stuff. Um, and then all of a sudden, like it started to heat up and it was back and forth and Freo got in front and the crowd started to get behind him. Then Brisbane fought back and then Freo went back again. And then like in the last quarter, it just became a good old fashioned shootout. It was like score for score. Brisbane got up by nine points and then Frederick kicked this bullshit goal from the boundary and yeah. brought the house down. I and think then Swimpley might be a little bit interested Shrimpley, in that one. Yeah, yeah Swimpley could be a little bit interested in that one. Um, Hayden Young was tagging Lockie Neal and beating the shit out of him. Like it was just fucking awesome. A really, really good game of football. Hayden and, uh, Young in the midfield is absolutely glorious. Oh, it's special in that it? it's really nice to yeah, see. I know your brother's in there and we're yep. talking directly about him here, but I think Freo are searching for I know they've got him tagging, yep. but they're just searching for a little bit of a point of difference. Oh yeah, he's size. Between it wasn't Brayshaw, Sarong. I say tag a bit liberally because he wasn't necessarily tagging him as your traditional tag. He was matched up on him. He was playing a role on him, but the way he did it, and I, the way I, I thought it was so good, he played him as like an aggressive halfback, 
So you yeah. know when you're an aggressive halfback, you're technically defending your forward, but you're just playing off 15 metres, you're being proactive. When you can go to get the ball, you go and get the ball. Yes. And it almost like teases you into thinking, is the forward playing on me or am I playing on them? Yes. That's what he was doing to Lockie Neal. Mm. Just like beating him to every contest by standing off when Lockie couldn't get the ball. And then it got to a stoppage late and like Lockie just had no idea what he was doing. And he went, he fucking dominated him. I reckon he had 10 touches before Lockie got one. Yeah, it was I awesome. It. I love him in there. It's great. It was awesome. Some other things that happened this week, uh, Pickett got touched on the picket. Uh, yeah, good. that's, well like that? that's very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy was reaching over the picket and touched picket. Um, mm, he was just knocking about town. Do, and we, do we have the video of, of that, Nick, by any chance? No. Nah. It's okay. No. Yeah, you don't right. have to get it up. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't really noteworthy to You're be You're probably honest, not going to get video. much more than well, exactly but... what Dan described. <laughs> so so <laughs> a fan, a fan reaches him. over as Pickett's about to, um, he's about to pick up a ball that's just gone uh, through. He's like over there hanging out over by there the fence. A fan reaches over and touches him. Is that... Uh, that can't have happened very often. This guy's got a ban now until the end of 2024. Fair enough. Not sure what you're thinking there. Checking, yeah. checking your hair. I mean, it's not like he's hit him, so I won't go too hard. It's not a life ban. He just but tapped him on the shoulder. I think yep. he's, he's got a year ban. You yeah. can't, can't be touching players. No, you can't be doing that. Unless the players run around slapping or like oh, jumping in the crowd. Yeah, great. That's awesome. a very good James point. Heard. How do you differentiate? Does it have to be... Like, it has to be, I would think, I mean, consensual. Yes, consensual. It's got to be consensual touching. Mm. Yeah, as true. for most things. As soon as it happened, the, way, yeah. it, the guy was definitely yapping as well. Yeah, it, it, I, it, it looked like he said something. Yeah, I think I don't would. like the being behind the fence, touching a player, running your mouth, saying who knows what he said. But like, mm. you'd love to pick it to be go. Yeah, what's that, mate? You want to come back over here and say that? Yeah. Like, I hope that's what he's. That's what he went back and said. Oh yeah, to mm. him. Absolutely. champion. Yeah, yeah and now, should have champed him. Now we're laughing at the guy because he gets a ban for, till twenty twenty four, and he had good seats. Have a spell, mate. Yeah, have a spell. Um, cost your daylight. What's that? Hammer? Cost your daylight? Anything? Does that, that rings, sound that, any? That rings zero bells to me. <laughs> I'm My bell is not better. In wrong. a bellless head. My head is bellless. What it's is... the best name in footy. What? I, I cost your daylight. <laughs> yeah, he plays a footy player. I think he plays in the in the. Um... Oh, it's a person. Yeah, it's a person. Is it? Do we have a picture of said Good person? Cost your, cost your daylight. I can uh, I can bring up a. Look. I think you're kidding. I think you're lying. No, look there. You go. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> Cost you daylight. He plays in your league, mate. He's a waffle player. He's a waffle player. Is that the best name in the in the? Yeah, comp? it's pretty good. It's a very, cost you daylight. Zerk Thatcher is a pretty good name. Zerk yes. Thatcher. Any good um mm. any good waffle guys that you come up against that that other people wouldn't be as uh, names yeah, of names a jang a jang. Oh, yeah, that's good. Name's so good, got to say it twice. Yeah. Uh, what about any junior junior um, guys that you've played with? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dan Const. <laughs> Mate, it's, been, it's, <laughs> it's, it's happening for 120 episodes. It's still... Yeah. Why is it it's though? No Why? New. Balls Mate. just distending day by day. Distending? <laughs> How good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, great. One day they'll touch the ground. Sorry. Um, I think it's a hard one for, to come up with weird names. No, it's it's just... Uh, no notice, I'm sorry. No, that's quite right. Um, Cost Brian Dale. Myers. <laughs> He's playing good football too. Like that's a weird name, Grind. Can Sam I? Sam Kerr is on the field, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Sam Kerr's Sam fucking Kerr playing. He's on the field playing. Why? Why would they play right well, now? Well, I don't know. It's no two sense. nil. Indy started crying again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, oh my god. What? Well, I've got a bet that says Sam Kerr scores. So you know, very good. If she scores, I need a motion from you, Indy. To be frank, it's, it I gave emotion when it happened. Nah, yeah, I know. Yeah, then you, you just did. back in your box. I want outside the box. Yeah, uh, Stephen yeah, Gerrard yeah. from the top of the corner. Fucking bang. <laughs> That's what we want. One one last set of names to throw at your hammer to see sure, if it rings any bells. See if it hits anything in the. See if he fires any neurons. Mark Keane, Luke Dan Curvis, Josh Worrell, Joshy Worrell, yep. Michelini, Max Michelady, James Borlase, <laughs> Borlase, no. Nah. Is that Luke Nan Curvis, brother of Toby? Is it? Maybe. I, I mean, how many Nan Curvis has he got rolling around? Bruce, Toby. That's the Adelaide back line. Just wanted to throw that, that one at you. That Is was the Adelaide really? back line on the weekend. Brucey's brother. They lost. Toby. They lost, right? No, they won. They beat the Gold Coast Suns. They did too. Well, there you go. No, there, there were a few names. Josh Worrell, I knew. Uh, Michelini, I had heard of. While and we're throwing around names, did, did you find that video of the lads doing the audition? <laughs> Not really. Oh, no. really? Oh. There's no. No, oh, no, there's no, one. This time, mate. Ridiculous. You know this time, mate. Oh, uh, I'll tell you what. When, when we're doing Blue Bet and Hammer has yeah, to leave. Yeah, when we're doing Blue Bet, I'll, I'll go, go find it. it. Okay. You slippery little bitch. 
Can you just give it one more time? <laughs> Might as well. It's simply the best. Oddly enough, last week at the Paddo, not many people put their hand up when I said, hey, who has a pool? So either people didn't want to admit Beck to having a pool. put her hand up. Yep. Yes, she did. She did. A lot of people put their hands up that wanted a pool. That wanted a pool. Absolutely. And you know what? If you want a pool, you can yeah. have a pool at you any pool, point you of your life. And you don't have to pay all the costs of owning a pool. You just get to pay the cost to go visit one for a little bit. Swimply, it's the Airbnb for pools. And we give the best <laughs> moments of the round. You get to vote on them tomorrow on social media. Did you just find the video? Yeah, I got it. it. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, just go um, get on YouTube. This is for later. But Ant and Seb. Mysterious oh, yes. girl on X Factor. Let me know. <laughs> uh, I can, yeah, can you just so just did, yeah, did you hear that? And yep. and Seb, mysterious girl on X Factor. So while we're doing that, and we'll play that after Swimply, um, oh, there's been a bit of a game change in Swimply. What? Whoa, what has there, mate? Um, Swimply has moved beyond pools, boys. What? It's moved to courts and backyards. So you can oh. chuck your backyard on there, boys. What do you mean lips. backyard? Shit. Chuck your backyard on what, there. You want to come hang want, out in my backyard? Mate, you want, a, you want a backyard cricket pitch? You got a good backyard. Let's you want put a cr- it up there. You want a cricket pitch? You got a, you want a, you got a pick, cricket pitch? You put it up there. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah, mate. Jude Rich. I reckon Jude Rich, my old host parents, could go on. Fire pits. So fire backyard, and fire pits. Shit, fire pits. Right, so. So pools? Fire pits, full cricket pot, pools, pitch, fire uh, pits. tennis courts, tennis I assume courts, for bougie backyards. people. Jump on there. There's a fair bit going on, but just it's not just swim pools in pools. Oh my gosh. They're doing, they're you doing. are. They are swimming. That's mind blowing. All right. Uh, Nick, can you give us this first moment? Shane McAdam apparently takes a mark. Who knows? Oh, I don't think we will. Yep. Oh, that's over, big boy. Shit. Oh, the O'Brien just copped it straight. I love, it. Oh, oh, there it is. Cop that, Riley. That's a great grab. Oh, and the, and the... I saw Shaming Haddam's name in this thing, and I, I know he takes big hangs. He gets lift all the time. Are we getting a bit of bit of Tex Walker action? <laughs> He's going to win the Coleman medal, I can tell you that right well, now. Well, we also had another bet about that. Can't remember what it was, but I said Charlie Curnow, and you said Tex Walker. Great. I don't know what we bet, but... Snake. I think uh, it was clo- something... But, like, more like, it but Tex closed thing. the gap by one goal. Yeah, no, Four it was a, it was a naked bed of sorts. Perfect. And they've well, announced that Saturday night we'll have the last game of the season. Uh, sorry, the last um, Adelaide game of the season. So I'm not sure when Carlton fixture came out. Right. Um, I'll check. For round 24. Uh, let's get the next one. Errol Goulden. Oh, oh this is good. Special. Yeah, this is sick. Kelly. Look how smooth he looks when he's running here. Watch this. Looks right like hand looks a bit like me, honestly. Ba, 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 bye bye. Oh, that's a na na. Yeah, that is nice. He's narned it. Did he? Wow. Yeah, no, it wasn't a drop pun. He narned it. He left foot nice. narned it. He just wow. he sort of just slows down a little bit before the kick. Really I'll sick. Though. I'll tell you what. Well, like that was phenomenal. But what's even better is what I've just figured out about round tw- uh, round twenty four. Both of our bets could be decided in the last game of the year. Oh. <gasps> Carlton v GWS Sunday afternoon is the last game. Wow. That's so the great. Coleman and the Brownlow medal could be decided oh, then and there. Oh, wow. That's huge. So oh, we should play watch that together yeah. somewhere. Should Adelaide we do a, play, yeah, we, we should, should live Should we do a live stream we of that game? Li- yep. Should we? Uh, if you're watching along, maybe in the YouTube comments. Interested in a live stream. Oh, and then it'll be, that'll be into Monday at the Paddo. Wow. Oh, the all night. Monday at all the Paddo. We all could night. go all day and all night. Brilliant. But I won't be drinking, obviously, because we should be still Neither will I. And last moment. my drinking. Freddie. Brayshaw involved, obviously. This will run past me. This is a big oh, play here. Big play. Freddie gets... Oh, no, that's Liam. Oh, I was in that vision just before, by the way. Okay. Oh, they're, they're flipping all the... Uh, yeah, I like that. Oh, that's a late sweet up. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Another boon, nah, nah. Pickle Rick. Cheers. Nice. That was nice. Ah, oh, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Michael Frederick. He killed it around the People outside. Loved it. The People right loved it. Freer fans were not happy after that game. No, they were not. That's all right. Pretty Three good moments game. will come up on socials tomorrow. Backchat, double underscore. Vote for the, your favorite moment. The winner gets nothing. Get on the Swim Play yeah, app. Check out a pool, check out cricket bat, sub and cr- cricket fields. <laughs> Tim, I mean, you could start renting out right. cricket bats. Just get on there. Oh, do you know what I'll get around? App. Get on there. If if someone has a sauna in their backyard oh, nearby, yeah. get yourself a sauna in the backyard. Our next door neighbours have one. 
Get them on oh, Sean, Sean And they've play. got a pool. Sean and they've got a gym. Shit. That oh. could be quite a big house. And I'm wow. here all the time. That could be one of the great swimpleys. I reckon we're good to go on this Ant v Seb. Right. So just remember, Nick Dacos and jo- Josh Dacos, <laughs> yeah. I said – uh, Josh Dacos has never been lifted to higher levels by a brother in the history of anything. Well, we've found the video that proves that wrong. Yeah. And we've found the video. It goes for so much longer than that. <laughs> That's great. It goes just so much longer than can that. We get, they, can we keep watching? That, that, <laughs> oh. No, but it cut it off. It cut no, it let's off. Cut it. We'll we, get. We'll get. <laughs> I love the meme that's just like when you when you forced to take your brother to work. <laughs> stood there at the end. It's very I good. I love they, what they're wearing. They can't, they can't be serious, mate. The yellow polo. Just, come on, Simon. Oh, guys. Come, come on, man. Come on, we know we're, we know we're good enough, Simon. Eh? <laughs> no disrespect, but we, we viewed we were pretty good. Look, Anton Seb. I mean, it was just crazy bad. Cool <laughs> <laughs> cue. We can get better. We're just friends. You different. are different. We've never had anything like this on a show before. Never. Absolutely, we've heard nothing like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is. It like has to be. Um, there has to be a setup. Oh. Got to be some sort of setup. Uh, it's well acted. It's very well acted. If that's the case, oh, Nick's putting his hand up for a little bit. We got something. All right, Nick. Yeah, we got. I got something else talking about elite brothers. Uh, the Dockers dropped their retro jerseys today with the anchor. Yeah. Ooh. Um, and your brother did one of the more elite photo shoots. Did he? I've ever seen today. Give us a little uh, look at this, please. Nicholas. Look at the man with the skateboard on the Fremantle skateboard. No. The question <laughs> is, is <laughs> has Andrew ever skated? Gnarly dude. <laughs> in his life? Is he skate? No, mate. So <laughs> a couple of things about Andrew and what you will notice about the four of us. I mean, I'm not sure anyone's ever seen Will. We've got very cylindrical legs. Like Andrew, yeah. had, look at the different, look at the calf to ankle ratio there. Like that's one to one. Yeah. Look at that. Like that is a bit. That's cankle areas. That's cankle areas there. The calf to ankle ratio. Um, number two, I think we had skateboards when we were maybe like seven or eight. Oh, so he has ridden skateboard. So I had a Shrek one that got run over by <laughs> the car. <laughs> so I was on I it. Like it had it. Shrek on the bottom and it, I, I fell off and it went out onto the road and a car got, drove past. And um, I think Andrew might have had a Monsters Inc. one. I reckon he had James Sullivan, Sully underneath Great. his, um, his Great. skateboard um, and just spent a lot of time pumping WD-40 into the wheels so that they would spin <laughs> smooth. But uh, yeah, it was, um, that's probably the last time we've skated. Okay. Or um, oh, there's, there's him by himself skating and then him skating with Troy Cook. <laughs> <laughs> the cookie monster. <laughs> that's amazing. Has he got boots on? That would be even funnier. Imagine if he's skating and he's, oh no, what are those? Oh, he's, yeah, he's wearing oh, that. But there's, al- there's also one more, which is like a, a kind of long shot. Oh, yeah. Can you so see I think we've got Fifey. Like Jager. McFarlane. Yeah. McFarlane, yeah. Yeah, McFarlane, Cookie Cook, Cook, Fifey, and Jager. Jager Mira, and... So my question to that is why have they got Jager with sleeves on? Well, Fifey's got sleeves on. Yeah, That's but like hard. both of them are cut like a park statue. <laughs> Get them off. The <laughs> Run around without a shirt Jake is carrying a skateboard as well. Why oh. are the skateboards there? It doesn't make it retro. I think it it's does. It's like a freelancer <laughs> thing. I like it. Tony Hawk Underground too. The the long sleeves, like that's a, I'd buy that. I feel like I should buy that. Yeah, that's a rash fest waiting to happen, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the Backchat Backman Award, I can't tell you how much it is heating up. I think it is. We were talking about the tipping earlier about how close that's getting. This is a whole nother strategy. This is a whole nother oh, look, oh, oh, oh. look, I don't want to interrupt what happens at the Backman Award here. So what's just happened, Indy? Come on, just let us know what's happening. Hit us with something, Indiana. The Tillies just got themselves through to the semifinals. Yeah. How exciting. Yeah, Two you nil victory. <laughs> Two nil victory. Very good. Denmark. I'm excited because I think one of my bets won. And? Nice. Is that it, or who do? So who do we play next? Who's uh, the next scalp? I don't actually think it's been decided upon yet. France so have we yeah. heard Colombia? Uh, uh, well, oh, who's the prime minister? Uh, Anthony Albanese. Albanese. He's calling for a uh, 
public holiday nationwide if we make Fuck the final. Yes. Yeah. I am behind. Oh, You'll be coming to work. <laughs> You'll be coming to work. <laughs> so are you. We don't celebrate public <laughs> holidays in this. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be behind that just on the fact that. Yeah, I, but get uh, the nation behind the Tillies. Like yeah. all the pubs packed out for the girls. Like that is. Actually, unreal. that would be good. Can yeah. I can I just mention something? Indy's more excited about public holiday than the Indi- than Matilda's win. <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, more excited sure. for, Fuck, yeah. for an opportunity to That's get behind our girls the, one more time. This is where this is volume in your voice, man. This is what I wanted <laughs> yeah, for you this before. Is, yeah. All of a sudden, you just hear she hates over there. and then she fires up. Cass you give me shot. shit for giving, getting behind the Tillies. So. No, no, no. We love we're, we're up and about. We okay, it, mate. Uh, See you later, Denmark. See you later. Look at that. Get off. Stop crying. Get off. Get off the ground. Better luck in four years. Yeah, Denmark four years. in WA is way better. Piss off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. piss off back to yeah. Denmark. We could probably kill the stream now. Yeah, kill possible. the stream. Hey, uh, all right. I'm going to give you some updates on the Back Chat Backman Award. Back Chat That's Backman right. Award. The biggest, most prestigious award this year. Ever um, in, in the, the history AFL. of awards. Absolutely. Um, I don't know how to do it. I'm just excited. I don't know where to start. I'm just going to give it sounds you. Like, it sounds like. You're padding still. Yeah, no, no. So I'm going to give you the, the three, I, two, one. Do you want me? No. Maybe that's just, where you should just, start. Just, Maybe the leaderboard. Just cool your jets for a second. I'm going to give you. <laughs> just cool your jets for a second. All right. So as we know. Cool back back here. Yeah, just cool them off. Cool them off. The Backchat Backman of the Year Award. It is awarded to the best Backman of the Year. Correct. You get votes for doing Backman things. Yeah. Now we've. Started putting a leaderboard up on social media. People who don't know, don't know. They don't right? know. And they it's don't like, care. oh, James Sisley, you know, is he being painted awesome. in the Cayman Islands? Is it like James Sisley is a great player? Sure. And he's a no one's disputing Long that. sleeve wearer. But unfortunately, he's just he's just not getting votes in the back of the year award. Yeah. And, and we know we know why. Other people don't. We okay. haven't told you what the criterion <laughs> is for votes, and it'll remain that way until we award the backman of the year. Yep. And even then, we may not tell you why. Yeah, we no. might mix it up next year, so we could tell them why. But Hamish Brayshaw, you're going to be fucking pretty happy, I reckon. With I what's know, about mate. Happen, I, yeah. watched, no, I watched. I watched. Well, well, I watched well, one well, game, and I think well, I knew. Well, okay. well, I think well, I knew. I need a. I need a one, two, three votes. Not a. Yeah, not I'm a giving you a one, two, two three. One. Okay, one vote. The Eagle, Aiden Core. Why is it Eagle? Core, core. <laughs> <laughs> I think is that the sound that Eagles make? Core. <laughs> A bit. It's just I like love a, that, that's Dan. A, I love that. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's the energy yeah, that we're after. <laughs> fucking uh, two it. votes. Uh, Tom McCartan. Yep. Big Tommy McCartan. If like he was an animal, what sound would he make? <laughs> uh, no, not going to give you one. <laughs> Thud. I reckon he's making a little late run, Tommy McCartan. Yeah. Well, he's not going to be ahead of the four, three vote getter this week because I watched their game and I just, I just know it would be. Go on, give it to us. I can't. But I actually couldn't fucking. But when I, when I, when I saw the run sheet today and I saw who had the three votes, I, I, I just, you, you, so give I watched, us a run now. I, I watched this game, and I just am so proud of him. Uh, it got to be my guy, doesn't it? I actually have. I actually don't know who it is, but like I watched we'll the just game. Just pretend like you know. I who it saw is. what how who he. I saw be. he. I saw how he played, and I just thought that is a man who's going back to his roots as a defender, Jack Buckley. Absolutely, gotta be Jack yep. Buckley. Fuck, he was sensational. He was. I turned the game on for about nine seconds. I saw him do one thing, and I was like, yeah. "That's it. All I need to see. Turn All you need the to game. see. Turn Three off the game. votes. Three votes. To Jack, Jack Buckley. Buckley. Give us the leaderboard. Yes. Okay. Tell you what. Uh, I'm going to start at one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, top seven. Here we go. Okay. Uh, starting from Dougal Howard on eight votes. Dougal. Yep. Well done, Dougal. Sam Taylor, you. also eight votes. Sammy Taylor, yep. good Tom Barras, 11 votes. Tom Barras. Sam Collins, 11 votes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Jack Buckley flies up to second place on 12 votes. Fuck yeah, he does. Harris Andrews retains his spot, 14 votes yeah. in He's first one place. game away, Jackie one boy, come away. on. Harris Andrews just missed out some votes this week as fuck well. Fuck you, Harris. So, yep. Jackie <laughs> Go ahead and fuck yourself. Our sponsored Good player for, for 2024. He'll be a back chat player, Jack oh, Buckley. Oh, Jack Buckley. Imagine if he's got the award to go with it, I'll tell you what. Oh, I would shit my pants. All right, it's time to do this. Do we have a sting for it? No. Okay. All right, we're rolling. That's we're rolling. That's great. I've got to make sure before we start to not swear. Come on, come on. Looking to save thousands on your next car and bundle your running costs, lads? Absolutely. Yeah, I am. You I need am, to yeah. do more than save money on cars. You need to save money in general. In general, Ban yep. yourself yep, from online trading. Myself, yep. Unless I'm obviously not overtending myself, at least. Well, you don't need to look any further than Fleet Network, mate. For over 25 years, Fleet Network have been offering customised and competitive Novated leasing. Novated solutions to Australian employees searching for an affordable, immediate means to get behind the wheel of their dream car. I've got a bit of news in this area, boys. Mm, okay. 
Tesla's arriving tomorrow. What? Yeah. Shit. I've got a Tesla coming. Huge. Tesla's coming. What about nice. your beefy car? Fleet Network. I've got. I've had enough of the beeps. <laughs> Been a great car. Oh, close yeah. to my dream oh, yeah. car. I drove it today. It was amazing. It was close, close to your dream close car. To, yeah, your daydream car. You know I what? wondered why my seat was so far forward in the drive. No. Yeah. Oh, and, and awkwardly, you, and awkwardly and warm. You, I didn't touch a single thing. Well, as an employee, which both of you are, you yep. can salary package a portion of your gross monthly income toward oh, your lucky novated I get paid lease. paid every month. Novated lease. Nova Ted. Saving your thousands, uh, saving yourself. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to say that again. Saving yourself thousands of pre-tax dollars on your next vehicle. Mm-hmm. So you might, you may actually be able to still buy your clothes online. Hammer. There you go. Fleet Network also helps you bundle your running costs such as fuel, rego, insurance, servicing, and even new cars. Fuck me, I'm butchering this. And even new tires all into a single monthly repayment, meaning no more budgeting for unplanned or costly thieves. <laughs> oh, do we just want to do has it again? Has anyone butchered? No, we don't. No, this we don't. is how we roll on back, chat. Oh, boy. Oh, basically, that paragraph that I butchered beyond belief from the English language is telling you you can bundle all your shit and yeah. you can save yourself money. Brilliant. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Interested in getting started, Dan? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, so am I. I am. I'm going to get the entire fellowship on my shirts. <laughs> head, there, <laughs> head to their website, fleetnetwork.com.au today to choose your next vehicle. And leave the rest to their dedicated team of experts. Well done, Will. Like Gary Gibbertson. I'm not done yet, Hammer. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, I'm done. Fleet <laughs> Network, it's the best in the business. <laughs> I love it. That's so good. Hey, just quickly. That was. Just quickly. Not your best. <laughs> <laughs> On your car, Scoey. Oh, man. When I did drive Whew. today, and you're telling fibs, I didn't touch. I literally, I went in there and said, I'm not going to touch a single thing. I'm not going to, like, increase the height of the seat, move it forward. I'm not going to touch How'd it. How did you find it? I felt like I was driving my dad's car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you it, was, were. it was so low. I was sitting, like, up forward in the seat mm. just to just to reach the pedals. Oh, you couldn't... Why are you so big? Oh, I mean, it's just you know, it's something <laughs> That car it. is huge. Yeah, it's a big car, isn't it? It's a mm. beast. Did you put the auto driving on it? No, I would drive like five minutes away. Yeah, I was too can, scared to crash see, it. So, mate, put the auto drive on. Yeah, mate, true. you press the steering wheel on the butt and it keeps you in the lane. It brakes for you. Yeah, well, I couldn't reach the pedals. So Close, probably you, hey, a little snooze. You're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's auto driving car. Very good. Hey, Hannah, wow. you need to go out of here for Do a I? second because we're going to talk about Blue Bet. Gamble responsibly. Of course. Uh, the spoil market, it's. We're returning to the well quite frequently because it's the only place in Australia, nay, the world in which you can put a spoil market together. Yeah. Where spoil we, alert. we work with Bluebet. Spoil alert. It's a spoiler <laughs> alert. Of course. It's a spoiler alert. We have not been successful for a long time, and I think it's time to make a stand. Right. Because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of losing. Right. I'm sick of texting um, Hummer and the boys at Bluebet yep. saying, hey, guys, this is our bet this week. Don't worry. It's going to get up. Yep. You know, we're going to get a win this week. He goes, yeah, well, cool. Thanks I mean, for coming. You might be sick of it, Dan, but unfortunately, it's not you we have to, you know, it's not you you have to put the blame on. I no, mean, no, that's true. We do rely on other people to, um, you know, get the bet over the line. I'm not pointing any fingers at anyone here. Well, no, because they're not here, mate. They're <laughs> on the field. These <laughs> the blokes field. that are not getting the job done. Okay. Blue bet, five spoils, that's the multi. We yes. go five from five. They need five spoils to maintain the multi win rate. Okay. Right? Jack Buckley was in it this week. Of course. Well, he gets it done. He had 13 spoils. Like, Huge. thanks for coming. Um, Harris Andrews, he had his spoils. Tick the box. Thanks for coming. The <laughs> lizard... The lizard got it done. Yeah, that I was had a road no faith. Pick. I had no faith in the that was lizard. A ro- Nick picked that. Nick told us that the City Swans' leading um, spoiler, uh, spoiler alert, um, was the lizard. Nick Blakey, <laughs> uh, he got six. Asava Radigalea is looking for a trade this year. Is he out, out of Geelong? Why would you want to leave? He's Geelong? not getting the opportunity. He's right. not getting a chance to do his thing. You know, not backing him in enough. Well, I'll tell you why, Asava. Tell you why they're not happy with you. Yeah. He had three spoils on the weekend, mate. But he's not the he's not the biggest problem in our multi. It's a man that some some talk about like he's God's gift to 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 fullbacks. Yeah, to the fist. And look, he may be, and he is a very good footballer. Absolutely. But Jacob Wiedering, they're too busy winning. I think Carlton are too busy winning to be worried about their fullback doing big spoils in the back line. Even though backs win your premierships, they're not up to finals now. Jacob Wiedering, Carlton. Doesn't have doesn't have the spoils required. He got th- three spoils. I saw him on the weekend take an <laughs> intercept mark, and it was infuriating to say the least. Yeah, that's use correct. your fist, mate. Yeah, don't need a mark. You got to you got to bash it out of there. Absolutely. Anyway, anyway, I next don't know week. what to do. For do you next know what we're week? doing next week? Hammer goes rogue. Hammer goes rogue. Hammer. 
How many goes this right? week? Come, you can come back, mate. We've, we finished talking about AFL. Uh, it's about time we let you off the leash. Yeah, and let you go rogue with our we, multi. We're, That's we're huge. inserting you into the business, mate. It's um, it is. It has been a while, but luckily for all and sundry, I have been keeping close tabs on uh, Bulgarian table tennis. Yes, right. And uh, I have also been watching quite optimistically. They've um, the collegiate Nigerian. Badminton has really taken off in the last month. So yes. not sure if Bluebet have got any markets on that, but I've just been keeping an eye on it. So <laughs> well if it, if there's any sports that you that aren't on there, we just match them and they will they will get a, a, a yeah, market. Yeah, nice. They're good they're good for that. Absolutely. That's good. Mm. Uh tomorrow, Tash Rigby, the Perth Glory captain, yep. is on the podcast. Wow. How good's that? That'll be the good. Captain I'll... of the club. Tash Rigby up and about. Um, so she took over from Sam Kerr at the Perth Glory as mm-hmm. captain of that football club. Mm. Um, she's a gun. She speaks about uh, not only the women's game, and given we've just knocked um, Denmark straight out of the yeah, competition. See, Denmark, allegedly. Uh, nah. <laughs> Actually, no, no, that was real, but all that was potentially not real. Tasha's, Tasha's been in there, knows, knows, knows what the game's about. Been there, done seen that. the potential of uh, this as a as – a, it, it should be – we we are. I asked personally, like I don't think it's been um, advertised enough the Women's World Cup. Maybe in Perth because we haven't had enough games. Yep. But this should be over every major advertisement yep. area in the entirety of Australia, which maybe it is over east, but it hasn't been here. It was a great chat with her, talking about resilience, talking about um, some mental tools that she's used throughout her career. It's a really great chat. Bet you when you cried the whole way through it. <laughs> she was here. She was up and about. Oh, here we go. You said it, we read it. If it's good. If it's good, and it has been good recently. Yeah. Thank you for sending your emails. Hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Keep, keep, dot dot keep sending them while the hay is shining. The sun I saw yeah, Keep I making saw, hay while the sun shines. I went over to Lady Cameras last week. Did I saw you? Lydia. Has he, is he, he's, looking, he's looking in good, Nick. I've got to say, he's, he's yeah. in bloody good, He would Nick. be in great, Don't. Nick. They're building um, a burger joint downstairs, which we've spoken about. Oh, yeah. good. Lydia, and, um, keep eating them. I yeah. think, look, he was in the middle of a meeting when I saw him. I think he's considering changing it from a burger to a to a like a, a quadrangle, like a like a, a judo, yeah, like uh, a like an octagon, an octagon, yeah. <laughs> They're just going to build it off. <laughs> That's great, yeah, yeah. Because they've got the windows there, yeah. you can just watch from the outside. Yeah, correct. So the, maybe a little tuck shop or something. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully he can just be snacking away. Although him constantly eating burgers won't be good for you because you're going down in weight and he'll be going up, so it'll just make it more difficult. Yeah, so you that's will right. become more elusive. I'll give you that. Oh, I'm going to oil myself up everywhere. Mm, Got any it. grease? Love yes. It. Well, grease me up, woman. That's going to be me. <laughs> That's very good. Okay. Uh, good this, year, this first email, uh, uh, it just starts with, I say team. So I think I've missed the first line. Uh, I say team because I've only just started listening to Backchat for maybe two weeks now and not sure if the starting team is still present. Anyway, episode 22. So we're back. Oh, shit. That's we're at episode 100. Almost 100 episodes ago. Episode yep. 22 right. with Oscar Allen, where it was mentioned that Dan was name-checked as Dan Cindy instead of Const. So, Hammer, you didn't see this debacle, but basically when we first started, and, and this is the first, re- well, this is when we rebooted. Yep. We're in a uni locker room somewhere with absolute grim yep. scenes. And Dan did, a, Dan did a podcast as, mm-hmm. as one of Australia's leading media experts. Mm. Yep. Uh, and it was put up on social media that Dan Const, special guest, but instead of Dan Const, it said Dan Cindy. Dan Cindy. <laughs> like, Cindy. On a big podcast tile with his head on <laughs> Dan it. Dan Cindy. And we thank Dan Cindy for joining <laughs> us on the podcast. Is that when you did it what? out of curtain? Yeah. The yeah. worst yeah. part was me and this technology. chap had talked back and forth, like emailed that many times. And I'm like, where'd you get Dan Cindy from? Like even in the intro of the podcast, he said Dan Cindy. I'm like, mate, my name's not Dan Cindy. <laughs> it's Dan Const. Like... It's not even. It's not even the same. It's not even. It's not even near. It's like I'd like I a small. Ca- I'd like a large cappuccino, please. <laughs> just brings out some fried eggs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the nothing, same areas. But so, Justin, thank oh. you for emailing in. You're a hundred episodes away, and and hopefully you'll get here at some point. In like the next six months, you might hear this answer. Um. So, he he thought he may have figured out why I was referred to as Dan Sydney. But okay, here th- we go. So this is this is his tech. Um. His. Did you read the rest of the email? Yeah. So can you put this email, uh, this picture up, Nick? So he (laughs) said, I've solved it because I know it must have played you to this day. The letters are all next to each other on a keyboard. Refer to the attached image. It's amazing. So he's gone and circled the letters in const in uh, in red. Yep. Cindy in the letters in blue, and they are very similar areas. Well, not similar areas. He's exactly right. Literally right right next to each other. So const is C-O-N-S-T. 
the C is right in Cindy. The O I is an is I. Then the O is next to the I. The M's are correct, so they're the same thing. The D, D is, is wrong. The it's next to the S. And, and the, the Y, y is, is next to the, the T. T. <laughs> You're, why are you disputing? This I'm is what's happened. I'm not disputing anything. Damn yes, you are. I can hear it in your voice. <laughs> what did I You say? don't think that's right. Uh, no, I think that's a fine theory. I just think the person <laughs> that did it was <laughs> not capable of knowing my name. Oh, that is freaking funny. Next one. Next one. <laughs> yes, very much. Okay. Mm. Uh, I've got a DM here that's sent through from Thomas DiCarlo. Very good name. One of the better names I've seen. Mm. Uh, hey, Dan, mm. big fan. This is addressed this to me. So, sorry, guys. Uh, I work as a mortgage broker in Melbourne, so a lot of my job consists of calling people. And since you're part of, the boys, uh, of you boys calling blokes to see if they say their full name, I've become heavily invested in how people answer their calls. This week alone, I had... Great. 64 Great. first name answers and 12 full name answers. Oh, this is on the actual phone. Wow. On the Dan Con speaking. Dan Cindy mm. speaking. <laughs> exactly, Dan Cindy. <laughs> I tell you what, the 12 people that answered with their full name think too highly of themselves. Wow. Have what, a great weekend, mate. I wonder if Up there's the any body. I wonder if there's any just last names. Hello, you've called Const. <laughs> <laughs> well, Con speaking. Cindy speaking. So uh, uh, so to the 12 people that answer you but have voicemail with hello this is Will Schofield just in case you're wondering I think which he, Will isn't it was. he referring to like I reckon he's meaning he's picked up the phone and they've answered. I think it's a bit Hi, of both. You've, hello how I think he's done a full title type for, what, Right. A lot of a lot of research into this uh yeah, answers. So first name answers and full name answers. So he's just gone with answering the phone. I think that's similar areas though. Voicemail yeah. and answering. I pick up the phone to an unknown number and say hello Hamish speaking. Do you? Yeah. But not Hamish not Brayshaw. Brayshaw. No, not Hamish Brayshaw. That'd be a bit weird. This is Hamish Brayshaw, captain of the East Perth Football Club. Yeah. I've pulled back on the this is Dan hello, Coast, hello. Uh, host of Back Chat. <laughs> this is Dan Cindy. <laughs> uh, I've pulled back on the first name from unknown numbers. I just say hello now. And oh. if I even answer it. You, you sound a bit grumpy when you do it too. You're just like. Oh, because like if, you know what I mean? Like usually no. I don't answer it. They want to leave me a message. They can cop the full message. They can cop the Will Schofield. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, I've got a real don't answer unknown number policy. Uh, fair enough. Dan like Dan answers them and then starts transferring the money out of his bank account. <laughs> and yeah, wonders Jacob why, Wiedering stuff. Why, 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 <laughs> wonder why that's against it. Nothing's come of that. Mm. Someone asked for my like mother's maiden name, what, social security number and all that. And I what, gave it to them. I'm like, okay, hey, now what? And then, <laughs> Walked in here and Dan is literally like, yeah, uh, <laughs> my date of birth. That can't be true. Dan Leslie Cons, and then right. he's... Yeah, no. It happened, but he, he sounded he sounded um, that is not that you're lying to me. And then he's giving him bank details, <laughs> and I said, "Who was that?" He's like, "That's the Commonwealth Bank." So what happened? I was just ringing to see how it's going. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't quite that, but what I, happened? <laughs> in so you hang on a minute. You had a call from someone, yes. an unknown number. That's right. Yeah, and they said, "Hi, this is Cindy oh, from Commonwealth this is, Bank. This is the Commonwealth Bank. Yeah, you've yeah. called. The, yeah, we're calling out Atlanta to, to Falcons." Yep. Why? Like, what was the purpose? Uh, what did they we're say? Calling, we're calling, just confirm some details with your account or something. Okay. And so you have given them your full name, yep. Yep. your date of birth, yep. your address. mother's maiden name, no, your not address. Maiden name. Uh, it's my address. I think... Um, You've answered your own security bank, questions. Bank account, uh, bank account number. And like the last transaction is bank account. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. This goes, all right, have a good one. Wait, how know. long ago was this? Oh, two nine weeks. days ago. <laughs> two weeks ago, yeah. But nothing's come of it. I've still got all my money. Yeah, so. yet. You're a fucking idiot. Well, that is so dumb. <laughs> why? It's nothing. Nothing. What could they do? Why do Take we have, all your money. Why do we have Jacob Wiedering in our spoils multi? <laughs> <laughs> he he, like, he oh, needs well, to make allegedly, his own oh money. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Allegedly. I can't believe that. Dude. All right. Let's hear some fines. I'm sick of um, talking about myself. Yeah. G'day, fellas. And Will. Oh. Uh, this is a $1 fine to Reese. Okay. Uh, after me saying g'day to Will as he walked into the Canfield after the NRL doubleheader, awesome. didn't believe me that it was him. Uh, the uh, the shout out to Will is for him wearing a full suit to the NRL. Yeah, looks like you're in a Nerd. box, buddy. Throwing shade on Skeeter yeah. all these times for uh, you know. Milk in the system, but I reckon Fox got you in that box there, mate. Mm. Anyway, cheers. Yeah, you're allowed Have to remark. Oh, well, I'll, uh, we covered it earlier on in the podcast. It was yeah. business casual. I had to wear it. Big it wasn't dogs Fox Big dogs only. It wasn't Fox when he got me in there, but uh, Mark Reddings was in there. He was? Yeah, so yeah, he was in fine form skater in there, actually. It was good. Yeah. 
Just a two dollar fine, Fox Footy. Not having Scoey on the uh, commentator team for the Frio Brisbane game Sunday. Brisbane, flog act by them. Yep. Cheers. Hey, look, they have I'd hate to college. go against my employer, yeah. um, but got to say I couldn't agree any more. Yep. Can't um, stand Brownie on the on the um, yeah. on the call. Yeah, but he's he's the Brisbane guy. But right? yeah, with it's Brisbane, he's so he's such a Brisbane homer. Yeah. Well, like that's the whole point of getting him on there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but, but when like West Coast are on, Scoey doesn't like completely just faff about. You know, pretty tough to faff this year, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> not a <laughs> really? great faff in here. Yeah, not a whole lot of faff factor. Around. Um, no, it was a rostering issue. I'll take it on board. There you go. Bro. Shout out, Brownie. He listens. G'day, podcast lebias and uh, Dilbury Denim Dan. Uh, 20 buck fine to Scoey. Well, I've got a head like an ocean going earwig, so I can't really be, I'm not really qualified to criticise, but Scoey's head pick on Fox is uh, unbelievable. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. Seriously, you look like you've just done a 10 year bit for manslaughter or your sergeant at arms for the local bikey chapter. Mate, you're scaring children, really. Seriously, get a new pick for the telly. 20 buck fine. Going. I'll Fair take enough. it off. I will actually can't argue Fair against enough. it. Mate, that picture has come up a thousand times. This year. Are mm. you going to get something different for next year? No. Nah. Surely. I think it's funny now. Like yeah. The longer it rolls, the better it is. You need to just like get a longer moustache nah. on there or something. Fair enough. Be... It's because, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I, yeah they, they are, uh, look, it's <laughs> a long can't story. argue with it. I can't argue it's with it. I'm fight. taking the 20 bucks. Mm. G'day, girls and Scowie. Oh. It's Sir Duncan, my bowl's the third. <laughs> This is just a uh, two dollar fine for Hammer. Yep, mate. We know you enjoyed a good night at X Golf. I saw it in your story. Yep. And then I had to rewatch it all on your second fucking page. If I wanted to rewatch it, mate, I would have just rewatched it in the fucking first page. Fuck <laughs> me. Okay. So he's talking about Hammer Swings. He is talking about Hammer Swings. Yeah. Which is what yeah. is it? Just Hammer Swings? Is that the handle on Instagram? Yeah, at Hammer Swings. <clears throat> it's um. I, I, yeah. I mean, I'll rebut and say that it's my second account for specifically golf so if mm -hmm. someone didn't want to follow the rest of me but just interested in golf that's where you'd go and do that yeah. um it's gonna be featuring a lot of other golfers on there as well yeah trying it, to build the audience yeah exactly i'll, I'll, I'll rebut it we'll yeah. take the two bucks on but yeah uh just trying to build the audience yeah, you know that's exactly right um how do you find the 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 X -Golf. X Golf is sensational. We mate. should go for a swing. Yeah. We should go for a swing. Yeah. Um, okay. They're uh, X Golf for a, a sponsor of East Perth, so we'll uh, we'll sort that one out. Oh, but, um, now. Yeah, they've jumped on board. So we've been looking for some things to do with um, Fleet Network. Yeah, let's go. And I Nova think we should do at, at, an uh, X Golf at X Day. Golf. So we'll, what? We'll draw the Tesla down there. What you Absolutely. find about X Golf that is so good is one, you never lose balls because it's a simulator. Oh, gee, that's good. Two, like. If you're in a bunker, you're just you're hitting off the same stuff as you always do. It's the, okay. the artificial grass. And three, the best thing about it all is anywhere inside of two meters on the green, they just give you the putt. You oh, don't even great. need to putt it, which is like two meters is meter you away. And like, that's not a gimme in real life golf. Not for you us. don't give gimmies in golf unless it's like a foot away. Do you putt at all? You putt, you, you putt, but it's like inside two meters, you just, your curtains pick it up and walk off. Fucking awesome! That's Absolutely really love that. It's brilliant. What were we going to give the patrons today? Oh, we're going to talk about what we're doing the live show. Live mm. show. It's going to be so good. Yeah. Coming up the twenty fourth of August at uh, a location to be announced. Mm. TBC almost, almost gave it away. And then I forgot that we'd done that. Uh, <laughs> location to be announced. It's going to be so good. We'll probably put it on socials later in the week. So yeah, yeah, that. that's right. But for for patrons, we're going to give you a special exclusive yeah. about that uh, now, as well as put it on pre sale. In the next couple of days, days, days. In the next I, couple I always of put it in the next couple of days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we do that. I in the next, do yeah, it. we'll put it up in the next couple of Paddy Dows. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, what yeah, is a Paddy Dow? Paddy Dow. Paddy Dow. What's a Paddy Dow? Yeah, yeah Paddy, Paddy Dow is sort of a cold cotton. Yeah, <laughs> keep the sealer for him on the weekend. I was thinking of some sort of like farm measurement. Yeah, yeah. I'd use that too. Yeah, it's a Paddy Dow. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's a couple of Dows, mate. Let's, let's finish this up and talk uh, to our patrons only. There's VIP codes for our patrons, of course, for all of our. Uh, Fine sponsors right in front of me here. Whippersnapper, Jetpack, Coffee, Whiskey. I need to have some of that after this. Mm. Uh, Margaret Reversing Co., Blue Bet, Schultz Brewing Co., uh, Lever Cameras, Swimply, and, well, Fleet Network, no, of Kings, course. Fleet Network. They power yeah, the podcast. Yeah, they do power the podcast. No, but Bloody Jesus, love